YouTube, this is Vacuum Mad 8. The day call is a lot better. Um, we did the unboxing of the video, of the last video of last weekend when he wasn't so well. But today we've got Vintage Week, and if any anyway, um, people that haven't seen the unboxing of the Dyson V11 Absolute, well, this one. We do have to spy this one for the week. Yeah. Basically, I've updated the Vacuum Man a cleaning team. Now, normally we just have the Dyson Blue Animal 2 and the 360i, but. And the Dyson V6. But we never show the Dyson V6. If you want to see my Dyson V6 uh, Absolute, um, it is in, the, it is in the, uh, the Dyson V11 Absolute unboxing. Um, so basically, today, just a quick update on it. I've had this thing a week. Um, it's been alright, you know, I've, I've done the guinea pig with it, I've done the decking with it, I've used, uh, mainly I use this one, I use the cordless for up top cleaning because it's more convenient, even though this one here has got this fancy um, swan neck or articulating um, joint. Can you can get the articulating neck for the really Yeah, you can, yeah, you've got that one, yeah. So basically, I've still just found that this, these cordless ones are very, very good indeed for up top cleaning. And on uh, that's... And, and the V10 don't, and the V11 don't last that long. And what else do we use it for? Can you we also use it for catching spiders and flies, don't we? So Carl doesn't like any sort of insects at all in, uh, his, in his space. And that's why we, how we have bug zappers on last week. So we normally have a bug zapper on as well. We've got the old tennis rackets hanging around. We got we got one of them dangerous ones there. That ones that you can just they'll, they'll just it doesn't work short out. But that one there. I could do it right now. That one there will short will will hurt you because there's no mesh on it. Well, that's a tennis shot. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Yeah. So yeah, so about this one a week. Uh, quite impressed of it. Um, I got it for five hundred and. So I got sixty pound marked off of the original price. No, how, how much did it originally is? Uh, Six hundred pound, sadly. Very, I think it's a little bit overpriced in my mind. But what I pay for it for sixty pound off, I'm quite happy to pay that for it. To be honest with you, it's got a lot of like little fancy features on it. You know, it's got the old, uh, it's got the old uh, timer on it. You know, you can adjust the the settings on it. But also for this I house. Also for the head, the head's quite good actually, um, but to be honest with you, for carpet cleaning, even though this is supposed to be the, um, the mains power killer, I still prefer using this one on carpet. And in fact, this one here is the smartest robot out of the lot, even though it hasn't got a fancy display on it. Um. And an automatic sex. And that brand new one is coming out this year. Yeah, we have. Yeah, I think it's coming out. We do believe that. It is coming out this year because it's on the I've been told. Side. I've asked a couple of Dyson now, so people, and they've just basically told me that they are updating the no, vacuum, the vacuum on, range, the Dyson range in September. No, and it's on Dyson on night. Yeah. It? That's so the thing is, guys, basically explain you all the new features of the of the new 360i Hearest. Oh, so I think it's probably going to be out end of the year. Dad, do you power this one? All right. You ain't tried that one, have you? Too much power. Oh, is it? Yeah, because it's faster than the eyes, and that means it's got too much power. All right, I don't worry about that. So yeah. yeah, so what we're also going to do with this video? Oh yeah, and another thing is, I also because I bought it when I did. I also get a 90 days uh, yeah, money back. Power. Yeah, a 90 day money back guarantee with this one. So I've got three months with this one, and if I'm not happy with it, I can give it. I can send it back to Dyson and get a full yeah. refund. But I'm not going to be doing that because I wanted to update the cordless. You know, because cordless to me is part of a cleaning team. It's not solely for, and it's proven it. You know, we got a cordless robot here and a cordless stick. And I'd still like to use have the mains power one as well. So it just whatever we think I decided and it may have have a little hint of what we're gonna be using, but it is American Independence Day earlier on in the week. Um we really enjoyed our Bayex um little thing he does for the Americans, which is quite good. 
you know, he does a lot of effort with it, you know, always like his, don't mean like it's Christmas, we like the American Independence one. But today we're not yeah. copying Steve, nothing, but I thought, well, I've got an American vacuum that I've been dying to be really using for the vintage week, but never really used it because we were missing parts to oh, better use it for a full week's clean. Um, so what I decided, we put on the next the convertible, um, and so back in the '60s, if you can look at some of like some of the videos, the Basically, all the vac, all the Hoover Juniors from the 1960s is on the vacuum mad eight um, backdrop, and 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 that's what they were like back then. But when this machine came out in 1963, um, it was a game changer, really. So let's get this machine and show you. It's not exactly how I wanted it to show it to you, but we did have a few hiccups with uh, problems with people letting this down. You think it's Halloween again? Well, uh, when we did the uh, curse vacuum, they said, oh, it'd be nice to do it Halloween, but yeah, we might do something else. This one was originally supposed to be shown after refurbishment, after Halloween. Um, the company, I had actually ordered paint. Oh, God. The company has sat on my money for two months, never got, ever got the paint. Always made excuses. I mean, I could name and shame them, but I'm not going to do it because I still want to get some paint. I shame you. I still want to get some paint. The weather is nice now, six weeks some holidays is coming up, we could have time to do it, so I've given this one a quick, um, got as much, many, I mean it's not looking too bad really, there's a few marks here look, I mean that's why I wanted to repaint it, but the problem is if you repaint it, time. you're still going to get that line going down that hoover uh, badge, and unless you can get one that fits, uh, the senior ones don't fit because I've tried it, so yeah, so we acquired so I got that, this one back in, uh, I think it was before yeah. Halloween, or just before Halloween of 2017. So we've had, so Carl's had this one for two years in his collection. Um, this is, like I say, these are like Marmite. Um, you either like them or hate them. You know, it's ahead of its time. This was the world's first uh, clean air upright machine. Now this one, everything, if you look at the, this vacuum, this Dyson behind, it literally got the system, the way it works with the clean air was first introduced on this machine. And then I think like Electrolux who specialized in cylinder machines also put that in their 500 series, which was a very no, popular machine. They did, they did do a dirty fan, yeah. But yeah, Electrolux through the 70s, 80s and 90s did a, and I think so this one does have a design fault. So we're just going to show you the design fault. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, this one does have a mistake that was made from the original um, Dynamatics from the 60s. The original ones didn't pick up as well as the later ones, and it was to do with the helix. And as you can see, look, this is the... This is the original one. Yeah, this is the one of the 60s ones. This is what the one, the, the Dynamatic. As you can see, look, you've got the beta bar going down that way with the brushes and here is a 70s one look the beta the beta bar is facing an opposite way look facing so, south so what they did who that realized that, that the helix was facing the wrong way so what you could do what they what they what I think some people did in the they bought the brush bars but this one's never been modded look so that's the original helix, which means it doesn't quite work as well as the, the later ones. I think it was the late 60s is when they realized they decided that it was wrong and redesigned it. No. So that's just an interesting fact about this particular no. dilemma. The way the brush, the brush helix is, the helix is the way, it's flicking the dirt the wrong way round. And it wasn't till around the 70s the late 60s to 70s they actually rectified it so this is one of the models that had a problem now like you say this Dyson supposedly is supposed to have a problem with the brush bar um, so I'm going to be checking this brush bar on the vintage week um, we'll be Today. checking it next week now when it's cleaned up again when I clean it up again uh, yeah. uh, back, back on 
was one of them three days you both. Yeah, and apparently now I've looked on the website, there's over four weeks waiting for this brush bar now. Over four weeks. Um so yeah, so this is they they, they said it was a two in one vacuum. Two in one sale was the advertisement back in the days, back in the nineteen sixty three to promote it. Um it's you know, it is quite futuristic for the time really and it is it's a good quality machine. This one's actually phenomenal because the handle, as you find out on, on some of the later videos, the yellow one, the convertible, it's got a wobbly handle, can't tighten it. This one here, as you can feel, the handle was superb on it. Um, so the tool set I've got from the convertible, mm. this is a bit confusing because it was this one was called a convertible in the Europe, Europe and the Dynamatic Dynamatic in Australia and the Dialamatic in the US and Canada. So it was the world's first clean air vacuum. It, you know, Dina. that's a clean air, that's clean air, that's clean air. So, so basically, this one was the forerunner to the modern way that the vacuums have turned out. I mean, they might go, I mean, it's digital and cordless now, you know, but this is the, the future. This is what people are looking at now. Digital cordless. This is what the way Digital everything's going. Um, which, you know, they're getting there. Dyson are getting there with it, you know. They're, they're making an effort. They're bringing new models out every year. They'll have a V12 out next year, you know. Yay. And that'll be a slight tweak on it, you know. So they're just tweaking their models. So, yeah. So this is the one we're going to use for the week. Um, I've just mm -hmm. fitted a brand new belt in, onto it. I used the old uh, Moon and X major belt on there. That's the original uh, US Hoover belt. The one I've put on there is probably half the size, so it should pick up well. And the bristles got nice soft bristles on that one as well. So they they are seems to me replacement ones. They're not the uh, the stiff original Hoover ones. So uh, I was all looking at his fans. We've had. We just shot loads of videos for fans at the moment, so we've got. So if you watch Alarm Fan Eight, we've got loads of videos of fans coming up now. Because yeah, eighty-three. Because we mean fans and not doing videos on them. So uh, yeah, so we'll be using that for the week with the tools. Um, looking forward to using this one. Uh, there's no adjuster on it, which means I'm just going to have to watch what I'm doing um, on some of the thicker rugs. Oh god. I'm planning on getting rid of the green rug and getting another one like this, but. I was actually planning on getting another rug, but every time I buy it, I want to buy it, it's always out of stock. And then I've got something else to buy, and I, I mean, I've just spent a lot of money on a, on a cordless, but I didn't just buy a cordless, I bought around about June, July, August, September, I just, I see what needs replacing in the house, and I'll replace it, you know? So last year I bought a stupid, stupid priced built-in microwave. A neck yeah, one. There's a microwave one, but at the time when I had the kitchen done, I couldn't afford the microwave I wanted. So when the microwave went, I said, "Right, I'll go buy the microwave that matched the kitchen." Yes, what's all you wanted? So this time round, the cordless was playing up. Like I said, I don't like pink. You know, it's it's done well. I only paid eighty-seven pound for the uh, for the V8 absolute or V6 absolute at the time, and I've used it for two to three years. So I've got my money out of it and I thought, well, you know, last year I went and bought this one and I've got £30 knocked off this one. And I thought, well, I bought this one. I mean, you can't get this one anywhere for the money that I've bought it for, to be honest with you, unless you go through what I told you to do on the company. So, yeah, so, you know, there are ways of getting Dyson's cheap if you know what you're looking at. I mean, you know, that's... That's what we like doing. Once upon a time, you used to go in, you August Bank Holiday, oh, they'd have a want certain models on sale. Spring Bank Holiday, oh, they have certain ones. They don't do that now. Dyson just keeping at one price now for the year. Um, they'll just sell off the ones that they don't want to keep no more. Or they make special models, don't they? Or they sell them to like B&M and that, their older models, and then just call them something else. You know? So basically, what I paid for this, yeah. What, what I pay for this, I reckon next year, you'll probably better get the the refurbished one from the Dyson um, outlet for pro practically the same money. 
because they're not that much cheaper than that. So, yeah, so we're going to enjoy using this one for the week. Give these, well, this one's just going to have a quick clean. I'm not going to clean the, um, the filters in it because it's only been used a week. This one here, as you can see, it's had a bit of a bit of hammer in that. We've had all sorts of stuff in that one. And that one's pretty full. I've emptied that one every, empty that one weekly. So yeah, so we need a good clean. Hopefully we'll keep the weather keeps up so they can dry this and quick. So uh, thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one. And please subscribe to Matthew Manate and we'll see how well this uh, mid 60s um, Hoover Tyler Manic from the USA. I only paid 19, £19.87 in the UK for it. Plus the shipping, so it was a cheap machine and it's worked. Well, got no problems at all with it it's been brilliant so yeah we'll use this one for the week and um, we'll say well see if it holds up with a new belt on it so bye for now and please subscribe to vacuum man 8 and thank you very much for watching bye